York Starbucks Barista Home Espresso Machine will bring you years of coffee enjoyment if treated properly and cleaned periodically. Brewing espresso and heating milk can cause a few problems that are easily avoidable with some simple care and cleaning procedures. We're going to focus on the three most common problems you may experience that are easily avoided by a quick cleaning. The three areas of concern are the brew head, the portafilter, and the steam wand. Let's start with the cleaning of the brew head. Before you begin with any cleaning procedure, it is essential to turn off and unplug your Starbucks Barista home espresso machine and allow it to cool thoroughly before cleaning. Once the machine is cool to the touch, you can proceed. At least once a month, you should clean the coffee grounds from the brew head using the brew head cleaning tool included with your machine. Insert the brew head cleaning tool into the brew head with the T side up. Turn the cleaning tool to the left and to the right to remove any large coffee particles from the brew head gasket. Remove the brew head tool and then take a damp kitchen towel and insert it into the same brew head area. If you don't have your brew head tool, a damp towel will work just as well. This will remove the smaller, finer coffee particles that sometimes get stuck up in the brew head. Pull the towel around this channel area. Continue to clean with the towel until there is no discoloration on the towel. Plug your machine back in, turn on the power, and depress the brew switch. The water will come through the brew head and remove any excess coffee particles. For a more advanced cleaning procedure of the brew head, consult your instruction manual. Now, let's look at the portafilter. When cleaning the Reporto filter system, begin by removing the filter basket. Wash the Reporto filter basket with a brush. If necessary, take a small pin and poke any clogged basket holes in the filter. Place the basket back into the portafilter and then place the portafilter inside the brew head. Plug the machine back in, then turn on the power and depress the brew switch. The water will come through the portafilter and remove any excess coffee particles. Perform this cleaning process with both the pod coffee basket and pod coffee pressure insert, as well as the ground coffee basket. Be sure to hand wash all the parts of the Reporto filter system. Never place them in the dishwasher. Lastly, let's turn our attention to the steam wand. Because the heating and steaming of milk requires us to completely immerse the steam wand into the milk, many times the milk finds its way up into the steam wand. This can cause problems for the next time you wish to use the machine. Remember to clean the steam wand with a damp cloth immediately after each use. If you notice a residue buildup on the steam wand tip, or if the water flowing through the steam wand appears to be restricted, submerge the steam wand into a tall container of hot water. Allow the steam wand to soak in this hot water overnight. When coming back to the machine, clean the steam wand with a damp cloth. Then, to make sure the inside is not blocked, turn on the power and open up the steam wand. Water will come through the steam wand, removing any milk residue that may be inside. This simple preventative measure can reduce or eliminate the need for more intensive cleaning. If the stream of the water still seems to be restricted, with the machine unplugged, unfold a paper clip and carefully poke the bottom of the steam wand to see if any dried milk is still blocking the exit. If you continue to have questions in regards to these three procedures, or if you have other care and cleaning questions, please refer to the instruction manual that came with your machine or call us at 1-800-334-5553.